Manus officially dropped version 1.5 yesterday, but these features have been available for the last few weeks. It's almost like they heard talk of Perplexity Comet and they're just like, you know, hold my beer. So yesterday I let Manus plan out my next 30 days, Alex Hormozzi style, right? Like what's the amount of work I need to do for it to be unreasonable for me to hit my revenue goal. 12 minutes later, it was in my calendar. So check this out. There's a revenue goal I haven't been able to hit every month. I aim for it and every month I like miss, sometimes near miss, but like haven't been able to nail it in yet, right? And I'm doing all the things I'm supposed to, quote unquote. I'm planning the week ahead of time on Sunday. I'm reviewing, I'm jumping through all the productivity hoops, right? Like I'm a big fan of Notion and all that stuff, but I'm finding that sometimes I spend more time on the productivity software and that side of things than actually like saved by the productivity software. And it comes down to like, my best thinking got me to this point. That doesn't mean it's going to get me any further. So I decided to outsource, see what the collective wisdom of the internet and all these trained LLMs could do with my situation. I decided to have it work backwards from that monthly revenue goal and develop a step-by-step -step action plan. And I kind of wanted to do it with uh, Alex Hormozzi in mind, where he says, do the amount of work necessary for it to be unreasonable that you don't win. You know what I mean? So I wanted this to be a layup, like not a layup, because it's going to be hard, but I wanted it to be like, this is something that if I follow, I'm gonna make it even on my worst day, okay? So I, that was my instruction to the AI, and I had it work backwards from there, I had it plot the 30-day course, and then I had it generate an ICS file so that I could put it directly into my Google Calendar, so everything was laid out step-by-step step for me. I found the output to be really impressive, like I gave it some directions, like make sure that these tasks are outcome based essentially like not you know outreach but like 25 emails before this time or you know what i mean one short edited by this time or you know make sure that the, you, you see what i'm getting at so that it was like this is the the goal of this task and your out time is at whatever we decide it is. So I really wanted to focus on input. I noticed a second ago, I said it's like an outcome based task or whatever, but that was, that was a, I misspoke, okay? So it, I can control inputs. I can't control what happens afterwards, you know? So it was always like 25 messages, two hours client work, one video done. You, know, you see what I'm getting at? Like what I actually put into it was what the task was scheduled as on the calendar, right? And the output was really good. Like it's functional. I went over it and it's like, it all makes sense to me. It's a lot of work, but like, that's what I asked for. Okay. So today I wanted to walk through exactly how to do it because I think this is like the way, you know, moving forward, it's uh, it's going to be super beneficial for me. Even a bad plan executed with this level of consistency, you can't lose. So I guess I'll just start by showing you. Uh, this is my calendar since we did that. It's got it organized by priority. Obviously outreach and getting people to know who I am is in red, high priority first thing of the day, which I completely agree with. Uh, it's got content in here. I gave it like my content calendar that I had projected. I've got my community stuff in here. There's blocks for client work, blocks for um, meetings and discovery calls and all that stuff. And it's just there. Perfect, right? I, I absolutely love what I did here and I want to show you to do the same. So if you sign up for Manus with the link in the description, we both get a few bonus credits, which is you know good for everybody. But even still, the introductory credits are enough to get this done for you. So first login, screen should look something like this. Uh, I'll just give you a quick breakdown. You can use Manus to generate images, slides, web pages. It's like full stack, okay? It's like a big old, uh, it's a <laughs> really in-depth agent for you. And it's also got a lot of like built-in connections. Like you can connect your Gmail, Calendar, GitHub. There's uh, quite a few others actually, right? Like you can check all this stuff out. There's a ton of stuff, right? So keeping this on track, told you spaghetti brain. We just need to give Manus access to as much information about us and our offer as we have access to. Obviously bonus points if you keep track of, you know, your socials, your outreach, your client hours, that kind of thing. You should be doing that anyway. It's really helpful. It just gives it more, you know, depth to, to draw these conclusions from. However, it'll work for you even if you don't. So what I did was I put all that stuff together with another model and we mostly threw that in the bin because it was really unreliable. But essentially I gave it all that context and I was like review and reverse engineer a path to this revenue a month with my current offer and skills, offer suggestions in terms of implementation, maximum viability and surface area. And then, you know, likelihood of increasing likelihood of success, suggest habits and methods I could use to make this easier, right? And then it'll go through. And in my case, it said the first plan was garbage. <laughs> so we had to whittle through and figure out what we were actually going to do. Um, so we did that, right? One of the things I really wanted to focus on with this plan is I wanted to move faster than I have been. You know what I mean? I want I wanted things to like start snowballing and not work on the schedule and the distracted sort of methods that I had been using in the past. So we developed a high velocity plan with a scorecard and it gave me this here document to uses reference. So now Manus knows a lot about what we do. It knows about our goals. It's given us a high velocity plan and essentially a checklist on how to get there. Now we need to turn this into an actionable schedule and step-by-step -step sort of method for us to use. Okay. So with this high velocity overview, I just started giving it information about 
my habits and what I do and, and that kind of thing, right? So using the high velocity plan, please plan a schedule. And then I start to talk about my recurring tasks that are already sort of scheduled, right? So presuming I wake up at 5.30 every morning, I need to take my kids to school. I've got these activities with my community, right? These are all recurring tasks. I want to schedule time to make content, knock out outreach and actually fulfill the jobs. I want this to be a roadmap and time block so I can more easily hit my input goals, right? And then we go from there, 30 day schedule at first, and then it goes and does it, right? Five day, 15 are my power hours, yada, yada, yada. Here's my checklist, goes from there. Here's the, here's the 30 day checklist. Amazing, right? Day one starts tomorrow, it says. But I mean, it's just still kind of an overview. We need to go one level deeper in order to make this a functional, like actionable step with time blocking. So we need to turn this into an actual schedule. So what I said was, let's schedule the next 30 days like you would in my Google Calendar, for example. And each calendar block is a goal rather than a task. Instead of outreach, 10 emails by time, three shorts by time, video filmed, edited by time, right? Like I had said in the outset, and that's when it's going to start to do this. So from here, it color codes, example day one, right? 6 to 6.30, 25 job scrape by whatever, you know what I mean? And it starts planning out the actual days, which is where we're getting into like the gravy of this entire workflow. So I actually made a mistake here because of the integrations that Manus has. I saw the integration with Google Calendar and I'm like, great, why don't you just input this into my Google Calendar? Um, this is not the most optimal way because it does have to ask permission for like every block of these. Okay, so it's like one task, one task, one task, and then I got to click create for each of them. I even at one point prompted it to just like, just do it, <laughs> like accept this as like my full-time permission for all of these, right? And we started eating into a lot of Manus credits. So like this entire task from end to end took 1300 credits, but I think a lot of it was the integration with Google Calendar. Yeah, like check it out. So many tasks. So I got, I got pretty tired of that, obviously. <laughs> so that got old and I didn't even know at this point that it could do this, but I just request it output all events as an ICS file and it did, which was amazing. So we just went with that. I deleted all the tasks thus far and asked for it to just punch out an ICS file. Instead, as we said, today is today's date. Can you please output the next 30 days calendar with Sunday being planning heavy? And it did. Output the ICS file, upload it into Google Calendar and ba-bang, everything where it should be with spaces for discovery calls and meetings and all that other jazz in my calendar ready to go. So I found this to be like a game changer. Like I said at the outset, that took what, 1300 credits? 1306 credits, but a lot of that obviously was for the mistake I made trying to do the direct integration with Google Calendar. While you can still get this done with the introductory offer, even with 1300 credits, just avoid doing the direct integration here. Just have it produce the ICS file and upload it into your calendar, which if you don't know, you just go calendar. I'll show you here. You log into your calendar, you go settings, beep. And then down here to import, right? Import the ICS. There you have it. Dude, so this isn't just like Manus at its finest. I think this is AI at its finest. Like this is what we should be using this technology for. You know what I mean? So anyway, let me know what you're gonna teach yourself to do or what you know goals you're gonna hit with this in the next 30 days. If you found this helpful, please leave a like and comment. It super helps me out. And uh, if you wanna learn more about these sorts of tools, I got a link to my school community in the description. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.